All right. So here we are. Fall is definitely kicking in. Even though we've been having very unusually warm temperatures somehow nature knows the cool nights I guess kind of give it off and uh, this tree very young tree actually but it gained so much growth this year put on a few figs initially and I think what happened is when I put it in the ground it kind of maybe got a little bit of shock so it kept growing but kind of stopped putting out figs and then uh, I don't know some animal came and and broke broke this branch right here and then I uh, I used uh, with some parafilm but it just eventually didn't take but that's okay we're here for this guy to try our LSU tiger and uh, it's pretty soft we've been getting a lot of rain before so it could just be waterlogged but I'm curious to try this fig. I did try one before, but it was not properly developed. This one looks pretty good. Um, a lot of people say good things about this fig, so we'll uh, we'll soon find out. We got Vern's brown turkey here that uh, is deciding to start a whole new sprouting of, of figs. We did get a few off of this this year. Uh, we got some some splitting going on here, and uh, maybe I'll just pick that. Even though it's not very soft, Bolzano still has uh, quite a number of figs on it, which I expect to see a lot this week because uh, the weather is going to be unusually warm. So, these uh, Italian honeys that came on a little bit later on in the season don't look like they're too close to ripening. Let's walk in and see what's going on on the other side. Okay, we got some panachés getting nice and soft, but still far. Definitely they'll uh, ripen up this week. Maltese Beauty over here. And here is one that I've been waiting for. We had one earlier in the season. And uh, looks like we're getting another one. <clears throat> and it's nice and soft. I'm going to have to... It looks like it did split a little bit. But... This is Bordesot Blanca Negra. Okay, we'll get a better look at it when we go inside. I got uh, a couple of figs here that are causing a lot of commotion. Okay, we got here a long dude. Take a look at the size of that. I got flies, I got bees, everybody's going crazy for this fig and it looks like uh, one of the reasons is uh, I see some honey there some fig honey at the bottom of the the bag so that's what's calling out to all these uh, all these flying things and then saying come eat me um, I don't want to get stung I, I actually got stung today so maybe ooh. That was not good. <sighs> that was not good. This thing is a monster. Okay. 
we got uh, some col de doms cracking like crazy. Take a look at that. I better pick those, even though they're very far from being ripe. Ugh. Very far, it's such a shame to pick them. This one looks uh, not bad. We'll get that. And we got a brown turkey coming in. No, still needs a little bit. Yep, needs a little bit. Those brown turkeys. Okay, we got here a major surprise. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. This is uh, what I thought was a Smyrna fig that I got from California because it kept dropping its figs in the first two or three years. And uh, I started a bunch of these cuttings, even gave them away to my friends, and some of them uh, gave up on them and either grafted on top of them or got rid of them. And I even gave up, I had like three of them, I grafted on two of them, and I kept one. And it looks like it's got two figs. They're not falling off and they're swelling. So it's going to be very interesting to see, once these get a little bit softer with the warm weather this week, how they're going to look and taste on the inside. All right, have a look at, uh, have a look at this black Madeira here. Black Madeira as yummy as it is, hates the humidity and is cracking. So here's a, a very common fig, a lot of people know called Peter's honey. And uh, I hear this thing is really good in the ground. I might, just might, replace one of the trees I have on that side with this Peter's honey. All right, and what do we got here? We got an I-258. We definitely have at least one. This one is, this one is very soft. We're gonna pick that. We're gonna pick that. So we got three premium figs today. Let's go inside and check them out. All right, so here's what we ended up with. Uh, we got uh, Arbordisol Blanca Negra. Uh, it looks like we got uh, a couple of, I don't know what these are, teeth marks or something here. And uh, then we got here, uh, this is just the Vern's Brown Turkey. We've seen that before. These are some col de doms that are splitting. We got our beautiful I-258 here. No honey at the bottom here, but the, uh, the eye is a bit more closed than usual. Probably the colder nights are uh, affecting it. And oh yeah, this is, uh, this is the LSU Tiger. Went blank for a while. Excited to taste this. And this uh, ginormous monster here is our long dude. So we're gonna we're gonna weigh these on our uh, scale here. And uh, I'm only gonna weigh uh, we're gonna weigh this uh, Bordesot Blanca Negra, 48 grams. And we're gonna weigh this I-258. 42 grams, LSU Tiger, 35 grams, and our monster, holy smokes, this thing, I am excited about this, all right, let's see here, 134 grams, 134 grams, 35, okay, Okay, actually, let me get you to uh, record, just keep it there, and we will cut into our 
Borgeso Blanca Negra. Okay. Cover these bite marks just in case. And I'll try that out. That is actually very, very good. Considering uh, all the figs that I've been trying now are, uh, you can taste the water. This, this fig is actually tasting phenomenal. Try that out. Mm. So good, right? Really good. All right. Let's hit our LSU Tiger next. How would you describe the taste of that one? Kind of strawberry. -ish. You think it's got a little strawberry? And the honey. Honey, strawberry, honey, yeah, kinda. Yeah. Hmm, really that's good. Interesting. Really good. Try this. This is a LSU Tiger. So. More of that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm. What do you think? Interesting. Like a honeyish. More, um, more lemon. jelly. Yeah. You find a little bit of lemon in there? Lemon touch. Mm. More jellyish than the other one. But um, also a very good fig. Okay, we'll keep this I-258 for, for the end because we've tried that before. This is and we monster. are going to go oh my goodness. into this our is monster, huge. okay? Just... That's a huge. Can you lower that? Yep. That's the first time I see it. That's huge. Oh my goodness. Wow. Jammy. <laughs> oh my. Wow. I'm telling you, the bees and the flies and everybody was circling. I'm glad I had this thing in an organza bag because they hadn't yet figured out how to get in. Eventually they do. Let's wow. try this. And you know what makes them come is that sweet, sugary smell. Oh my God. Mm. This... This is how a fig should taste. Wow. This is how a fig should taste. Mm. All right. Here. Stop talking and let me eat it. All right. <laughs> Go for it. Wow, it's huge. Mm. That figgy. Wow. That figgy jammy. Delicious. Very mm -hmm. sweet, like, yummy. You got a little bit of seed crunch too in there. Crazy. Wow. That's crazy good. Well, let me tell you, thanks to those organza bags, that thing is in one piece. Mm. That's Thank a really you. good yeah, thing. Really yeah. All right, guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.